Christmas's collapsible nutcracker animatronic is here. I am one of the few who own this thing. I drove up to Mays Landing, New Jersey to get it. This is the red version. It's the classic nutcracker. As you can see, looks really cool. There is two other styles that are there as well. And I thought, why don't I get those while I'm there? This one, which is a black and silver, and this one, which is silver. They all have their cool kind of thing. This one's star, it has some lights on it. This Christmas tree lights up, and that guy has a cool sword. They're all a little bit different, but also pretty similar. And I think they all have the same lines and phrases. Uh, they just sing some Christmas songs. So today's video, we're just doing him. Uh, another video will be the other two in the same video. So look out for that video. It should be out pretty soon after watching this one, if not already out. Here's the side of the box. You can see how it is a pull-up mechanism. It's collapsible. Then a really cool close-up shot. So this guy does sing. They're indoor or covered porch use only. Here's a really cool side picture. And this box is just awesome. Look at the top of this. It's got the Spirit Christmas logo with this really cool snowflake pattern. They even have the pattern on the pull tabs, partially. Now this is one of the few Spirit props that actually has styrofoam in it. Here is the adapter, which they placed on top. His head is not attached in there. Doesn't ever show that on the box. Just says collapsible. Here are the instructions, which aren't in a bag or anything. It's very simple. And there's a volume control on there as well. So we'll pull the head out first. Here it is all wrapped up. So this is all plastic. There is no latex overlay on the hard plastic like we've seen on the Spirit Halloween animatronics. His nose does not push in, even though it looks like a lever. It's hollow and it looks really cool. The rest of this looks like one piece. It just has that Christmas smell to it as well. So the only things in this box are the adapter, head, body, and instructions. Very simple. Here's a simple overview of all of the parts. Starting with the head, the collapsible torso, the instructions, and the power adapter. Now, just want to note that the bottom of this is all like scratched up and it looks like it's been used before. I don't know if this is a sample or something, but it might be since it's their first year and they have very low quantities. This is also the IR sensor right there. On the instructions, it has that really cool Christmas theme. It does not mention Zombie Tech Squad anywhere. It did mention it on the Swinging Snowman in last video. The power adapter is 9 volt, 1 amp. Normally on a regular Spirit Halloween animatronic, it's 6 volt, 2 amp. So just be mindful if you do have multiple animatronics and you plug this into the wrong one, it could potentially fry it. Before we build it, I just want to point out a few things here. So this glitter looks like it was just spray glued on. And then up here, part of the hand has paint on the stick. I don't know if this is a sample model or not it's very confusing um everything looks kind of choppily done here which is cool to sample down here it looks like someone just got a hacksaw and went right through this it doesn't look like it's machine done uh, especially on this side but for the build if you guys have ever had a suitcase before you would you know you push this in and just lift up 
Now, that was a lot at once here, so I'm gonna do it again for you guys. You just push in and let off at the top and it locks in just like that. Now on these little ornaments on the tree, the lights are actually glued through them. So this tree does light up and you can see the wire going through right there, very tiny. Now for his head, you're gonna line up these two back holes right here. And then this main piece obviously over that. Now I'm hoping all the nutcrackers would be the same for some cool head switches guys. I don't see why they wouldn't be. So look out for one of those videos as well. I'm just dropping those two through sliding it on just like that. Now I'm gonna position his hat differently. Actually you can't, it's like glued on. But yeah, we're gonna spin them around here and see what controls he's got. We've got the speaker in the middle, We've got volume control. I think this is a sound sensor right there. We only have on or off, which I'm guessing is sound or the motion sensor up front. Then we have the adapter, which is that nine volt one amp. We're gonna plug that in. That's where the adapter goes. There's no step pad or anything, which is really interesting. But yeah, there's like excess glue right here. His shoulder looks scratched. There's no way this thing's brand new. It's definitely been somewhere, in some warehouse or on a display room. Um, but yeah, we're gonna move on to the demo now. And we're gonna see what kind of lines he has and what songs he sings. Right before I do the demo, just wanna show another thing. This is hand cut fabric right here down the side. He also activates with sensor or sound. I just confirmed it by doing a quick test run. He only has one line, which is singing Jingle Bells. But yeah, now we're gonna get into the demo. So guys, that is probably the longest Spirit Halloween prop activation ever at about a minute and 55 seconds-ish. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. There's going to be a ton more Halloween and Christmas videos coming out soon. Thanks for watching.